The city of Ramsey proposes to mill and overlay numerous streets across the city with the 2021 Neighborhood Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. This project is identified as Improvement Project number 21-04. Please follow this public information presentation to gather more information about the project. During this presentation, we will give a brief introduction to the City of Ramsey engineering staff. We will review the purpose of this pavement overlay project and give the scope of the project. We will review the existing conditions of the streets included in the project and the proposed improvements associated with the pavement overlay. We will review the preliminary estimated project costs as well as the project funding sources. Please know that properties will not be assessed for these improvements. Finally, we will go over the preliminary project schedule and discuss the best ways to stay informed about the project. My name is Joe Ferryanchek. I'm the project engineer for the 2021 Neighborhood Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. The engineering division is made up of six full-time staff members. Our offices are located on the second floor of City Hall. Our staff includes City Engineer Bruce Westby, Civil Engineers Leonard Linton and myself, Field Construction Inspectors Aaron Madsen and Logan Check, and Administrative Assistant Marsha Widener. The 2021 Neighborhood Pavement Overlay Improvements is identified in the 2021 through 2030 Capital Improvement Program. This program is a budgeting tool used by the city to help forecast expenditures and city council authorization is required before a project can move forward. The program can be found on the City of Ramsey website. The purpose of this project is to extend the useful life of the pavement by replacing the top layer of bituminous called the wearing course. This is done by milling the top two inches of pavement and placing two inches of new bituminous pavement. The streets selected to overlay are generally around 20 years old and the pavement will be expected to have some cracking that is not yet severe such as alligator cracking which is a sign of structural deficiencies. The pavement overlay is expected to last 15 to 20 years and is anticipated to be completed twice in the 60 year design life of the pavement, but this varies from street to street. Generally, Existing cracks will reflect through the new pavement after one to two years. After overlaying, minor maintenance work, typically crack sealing, is performed during the expected life of the pavement overlay. Municipal utility improvements are not proposed as part of the pavement overlay project. Minor adjustments to storm sewer catch basins located in the curb line will be made as needed Adjustments to manhole frames and valve covers located in the pavement will be made. These minor adjustments are made to ensure the iron castings sit at the proper height within the new pavement. There are no proposed impacts to private properties. Minor spot curb replacement will be done, which will require turf restoration adjacent to the work, but this is typically contained within one to two feet behind the curb and well within the city owned right of way. This project will mill and overlay 1.81 miles of city streets spread across nine subdivisions, including Birch Hill Lodges, Ferrum 1st and 2nd, Gateway Industrial Park, Mallard Ponds, North Fork Itasca Point, North Fork St. Andrews, Oak Ridge Industrial Park, Rabbit Run, and Ramsey Meadows 2nd. As we can see in the attached map, the improvements are spread across much of the city. The streets included in Birch Hill Lodges include Cobalt Street south of Sunwood Drive. Ferrum 1st and 2nd includes Azerite Street between McKinley Street and 141st Avenue. Gateway Industrial Park includes 143rd Avenue between Jasper Street and County Road 56 as well as Limonite Street between 142nd Avenue and 143rd Avenue. Mallard Ponds includes 140th Avenue from Disposium Street to the cul-de-sac. North Fork Itasca Point includes 159th Lane from Andre Street to the cul-de-sac. 
North Fork St. Andrews includes Inverness Court from Inverness Lane to the cul-de-sac, St. Andrews Court from St. Andrews Lane to the cul-de-sac, and St. Andrews Lane from Inverness Lane south to the edge of the Platte, 3,300 feet southeast. Oak Ridge Industrial Park includes Sunfish Lake Court from Sunfish Lake Boulevard to the cul-de-sac, Rabbit Run includes Quicksilver Street from 167th Avenue to the cul-de-sac. Finally, Ramsey Meadows Second includes the last 300 feet of the cul-de-sac on 150th Lane, lying south and east of Helium Street, as well as Florine Street from 149th Lane to the cul-de-sac. The streets within Birch Hill Lodges proposed to be overlaid include Cobalt Street, from Sunwood Drive to the south edge of the Platte, as shown in the attached exhibit. On an annual basis, city staff reviews every segment of streets within the city using the Pavement and Surface Evaluation Rating, PASER. The rating scale is from 0 to 10, with 10 being a new pavement. In 2020, Cobalt Street received a rating of 6. The streets within the subdivision were constructed in 2002, making them 18 years old. The streets received seal code improvements in 2007 and 2014. Some pavement patching has been required since the last seal code improvement. The pavement section was built to current city standards with a minimum of 3.5 inches of bituminous pavement and 4 inches of aggregate base. The streets within Ferrum 1st and 2nd proposed to be overlaid include Azerite Street between McKinley Street and 141st Avenue as shown in the exhibit. Azerite Street had a 2020 Pazer of 7. The street was constructed in 1997 as an urban commercial section road, including concrete curb and gutter. Ground penetrating radar, GPR, takes readings of the ground at one foot intervals and can determine the thickness of bituminous pavement and aggregate base. The city hired a firm to drive city streets built before 2001 to determine the existing pavement sections. GPR data found an average of 4.5 inches of bituminous pavement on Azerite Street. Aggregate base thickness was not determined. The streets within Gateway Industrial Park proposed to be overlaid include 143rd Avenue and Limonite Street as shown in the exhibit. 143rd Avenue had a 2020 Pazer of 8, was built in 2000 as an urban section road including concrete curb and gutter, and has received seal code improvements in 2006 and 2017. Limonite Street had a 2020 Pazer of 9, was built in 2005 as an urban section road including concrete curb and gutter, and has no record of any maintenance activities. The south half of Limonite Street is gravel and is not proposed to receive any improvements with this project. GPR data is available for 143rd Avenue and showed an average of 4.4 inches bituminous pavement and 4.5 inches aggregate base. The street within Mallard Ponds proposed to be overlaid include 140th Avenue from Disprosium Street to the cul-de-sac as shown in the exhibit. 140th Avenue had a 2020 Pazer of 9, was built in 2000 as an urban section road, including concrete curb and gutter, and has received seal code improvements in 2005 and 2017. GPR data found an average of 4.2 inches bituminous pavement. Aggregate base thickness was not determined. The street within North Fork Itasca Point proposed to be overlaid is 159th Lane, from Andre Street to the cul-de-sac as shown in the exhibit. 159th Lane had a 2020 Pazer of 8, was built in 1999 as an urban section road including bituminous curb, and has received seal code improvements in 2008 and 2018. GPR data found an average of 3.9 inches bituminous pavement and 3.9 inches aggregate base. The streets within North Fork St. Andrews proposed to be overlaid include Inverness Court, St. Andrews Court, and St. Andrews Lane, as shown in the exhibit. All streets within this subdivision had a 2020 Pazer of 8, 
were built in 2001 as an urban section road including bituminous curb and have received seal code improvements in 2008 and 2018. The pavement section was built to current city standards with a minimum of 3.5 inches bituminous pavement and 4 inches of aggregate base. The street within Oak Ridge Industrial Park proposed to be overlaid is Sunfish Lake Court from Sunfish Lake Boulevard to the cul-de-sac as shown in the exhibit. Sunfish Lake Court had a 2020 Pazer of 7, was built in 1997 as an urban industrial road section including concrete curb and gutter and has received seal code improvements in 2003 and 2015. GPR data found an average of 4.0 inches of bituminous pavement. Aggregate base thickness was not determined. The street within Rabbit Run proposed to be overlaid is Quicksilver Street from 167th Avenue to the cul-de-sac as shown in the exhibit. Quicksilver Street had a 2020 Pazer of 6, was built in 1997 as a rural section, though half the street was since updated with bit curb, and has received seal code improvements in 2004 and 2012. GPR data found an average of 3.7 inches of bituminous pavement and 2.8 inches of aggregate base. The streets within Ramsey Meadows 2nd proposed to be overlaid include 150th Lane and Florine Street as shown in the exhibit. 150th Lane had a 2020 Pazer of 9, was built in 1994 as an urban section road with concrete curb and gutter, and has received seal coats in 1998, 2005, and 2016. GPR data found an average of 3.6 inches bituminous pavement and 3 inches of aggregate base on 150th Lane. Florine Street had a 2020 Pazer of 8, was built in 1994 as an urban section road with concrete curb and gutter, and has received seal coats in 1998, 2005, and 2017. GPR data found an average of 3.2 inches bituminous pavement and 4.8 inches aggregate base on Florine Street. The proposed improvements for the project are a 2-inch mill and overlay of the bituminous pavement. The anticipated process is as follows. Spot concrete curb and gutter will be removed and replaced. City staff checks the curb before the project begins and finds damaged curb needing replacement. Patching to more severely damaged pavement will be completed. In general, not much patching is anticipated with this project and is only completed when needed. Any storm sewer catch basins which have settled relative to the adjacent curb flow line will be reset. Catch basins and bituminous curb will have the castings updated to a more durable design. The other catch basins will be regrouted as needed. Regrouting is an inexpensive maintenance practice which can extend the life of the storm sewer structure. The entire width of the pavement will receive a 2 inch deep mill. Any casting such as manhole covers and valve box covers, will be adjusted to ensure they are the proper height in relation to the final elevation of the pavement. Finally, two inches of new bituminous pavement is placed on the street. After pavement rolling has been completed, the new pavement can be driven on. This typically is within 20 to 30 minutes after the pavement has been laid down by the paved machine. Once the project has begun, it is anticipated to take four to six weeks to complete, weather dependent. In general, mill and overlay improvements rely on moving operations. The mill machine will mill out eight to 10 foot wide strips of the pavement and operates at a walking pace. The paving machine will place new pavement down on the street in two passes and also operates at a walking pace with rollers compacting the pavement behind the machine. For either operation, it's generally expected to take at most five minutes for the operation to move past and a vehicle to safely use the street once again. Caution must always be used when traveling through the construction zone, and drivers are expected to slow down. After milling has been completed, the surface is uneven, which can make driving, walking, or riding a bicycle more difficult. If you see pavement that looks wet during the pavement operations, do not drive on it. This is likely the bituminous tack coat which is placed before the new pavement. 
The tack will stick to the paint on your vehicle. During preliminary design, staff estimated project costs to be $690,000. This includes 10% contingency costs and 23% indirect costs. Indirect costs include administration, engineering, finance, and legal costs associated with the project. It should be noted the estimate is a preliminary design level, meaning quantities in the estimate are assumed and may change during design. The funding for the project is proposed to be $643,000 coming from the Pavement Management Fund and $47,000 from the Stormwater Utility Fund. There will be no assessments associated with this project. After much discussion, the City Council has adopted ordinances implementing franchise fees for gas and electric services. These fees are collected by the private utility companies and are dedicated to the Pavement Management Fund. Legally, these funds can only be used for pavement overlays and reconstruction projects. On January 12, 2021, City Council ordered plans and specifications for the 2021 Neighborhood Pavement Overlay Improvements. Staff plans to bring the final plans and specifications to City Council on March 9th for approval and authorization to advertise for bids. In the interim, Staff asks impacted properties to reach out with any concerns about the project and to inform us of any specific requests they would like to make us aware of. Staff is planning to receive bids on April 6th and assuming good bids are received will bring the lowest responsible bid to City Council for consideration to award a contract for the improvements. This schedule could allow the construction to begin around early June of 2021. Staff will require, by contract, the project to be complete by August of 2021. Residents should be aware that the city can only control when contractors are given authorization to proceed and that completion dates are met, with penalties to the contractor for not meeting deadlines. The contractor has the flexibility within the start and finish dates to proceed on the project at their pace, though once they begin construction, they must continually work towards completion. Weather can also play a key role in the progress of a construction project. Thank you for following this informational presentation for the 2021 Neighborhood Pavement Overlay Improvements Project. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me by email or phone. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm currently working remotely, and email is the preferred method of contact and will typically receive the quickest response. The best place for project information, including project updates during design and construction, is the project webpage. The webpage can be found in the City of Ramsey's website on the Engineering Division webpage.